Welcome guys to Litecoin review when I'm reviewing it, rating it from X to F and find replacement for it. So today Litecoin is early escapade. This is a five star Litecoin for Sparkle. So uh, uh, first thing first, we are gonna reviewing it first. Okay, so the image is quite uh interesting and i will uh say that this light cone is really really important if you are pulling for sparkle because there isn't like a replacement but there is some uh work around but there is no like a close replacement for this one so i will just put it put it it uh right away but here we go uh, when you're using this icon you can have capriciousness increase the wear critical damage by 32 percent the wear gain mass at the beginning of the battle for three turns this is so huge so you are gonna have a, a buff right away at the beginning of the battle for three turns well, the wearer has mass. The wearer ally have their critical rate increased by 10% and critical damage increased by 28%. So here we go. This is the buff when uh, the, the mass being used by the wearer. Every time the wearer recover a skill point, aka uh, ultimate or sparkle, or if you are have uh, Ruan Mei, uh, no, 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 Ruan Mei, okay, uh, recover it, see, yeah, not, not Ruan Mei. Uh, if you are using, of course, uh, this is a signature icon for a Sparkle, but I don't think there is a character. Every time the wearer recover a skill point, oh. Uh, yeah, you can uh, use Hanya too. Hanya, I think Hanya is. Yeah, yeah, Hanya. You can you can use Hanya too for, uh, for this light con. But Hanya is like skill. But uh, for um, for a Sparkle, you need to using Ultimate. They gain a stack of Radiant Flame. When the wearer has a 4 Radiant Flame stack, they move on the stack and gain 4 mass. So basically, uh, at the first uh, of the uh, at the beginning of the of the battle, you have three mass. Uh, you have a mass for three turns. Under three turns, you need to uh, have a four, um, four mass, so you can replacing it. So it's kind of like a uh, unending mass uh, buff uh, but we are not talking about the buff now we are gonna uh, see what rating that I gonna give for this light cone so here we go earthly escapade I will put uh, my rating on a for this light cone this light cone is a uh, maybe you can replacing it with uh, some stat in uh, in other light cone but not fully so here we go a for this light cone so we are going to the replacement for the light cone Okay, here we go. There is not much for the replacement. First thing first, uh, we have a critical damage by 32%. This is quite big, and I'm not find anything close to it. The only one that quite close to it is uh, pastel in mirror. One may 
signature light cone. In this light cone, you can have increased all alloy damage by 24%. But only when the wearer use their full teammate. And it lasting for 3 turns. So that's maybe that's the one that quite close. This is not like a critical damage, but this is final damage. So uh, that's it. Uh, but uh, I will tell you that uh, another uh, light cone can replace some. Uh, not replace, maybe a uh, complement. Uh, to uh, Parkhall. So uh, I will show you. Here we go. Kill uh, for Sparkle. Increase the critical damage of a single ally by 24% of Sparkle's critical damage plus 45%. Lasting for one turn and and at the same time and advance forward this ally action by 50%. So we got this uh buff to advance forward one ally. So that is some uh light con that we can use. Oh I'm sorry. Uh first thing first. You can use this uh, light cone just for this one is kind of more like general one after the uh, dream file adventure this is a new light cone for 2.0 you can using it this is like more like general after the wearer use basic attack skill ultimate all ally gain chill uh, ch childishness and buff 12 12 percent for damage uh, that's it and cannot be struck uh, stop. This one is quite bad. I'm not gonna uh, recommending it. The one that I quite recommending it is this two. This two. If you have, but at the battle isn't over. This one is quite good and complement to the skill uh, that Sparkle had. Increase the wear energy regenerate by 10%. It's quite good. So we can uh, replacing um, the skill uh, skill skill point faster and regenerate one skill point when the wearer use their ultimate on an ally. So when you are using skill uh, sparkle skills, you have one point. A uh, well, yeah, one one skill point. That's really really good. This effect can be triggered once. After every two use of the wear ultimate, there you go. And also, there's some buff in here, like like deal thirty percent. But this is kind of more RNG, RNG because uh, Sparkle is not like Bronya. Sparkle Sparkle only uh, advance forward around fifty percent, not like Bronya, like right away. So it's kind of a bit RNG. But overall, this is really really good and really complementing Sparkle skill. Uh, and if you don't have this one, I will really really recommending it. Uh, the last, uh, the past and the future, especially for F2P player, this one is really really good. I'm using it for Bronya, and if you don't have a Bronya signature or Sparkle signature, you can use past and Future man, this one is so good. When the wearer use their skill, the next ally taking action except the wearer deal 16% increased damage for one turn. And this is really really important because uh this light con is quite uh literally uh free if you like uh, go to uh what is called memory of chaos so if you go to memory of chaos and you have some what what is called like a uh, like point i forget the, the point and you can 
uh, by this light cone and uh, superimposing it to superimposer uh, superimpose 5. Uh, so maxim uh, this is a 16% but you can bumping it uh, to 32 if I'm not wrong. Superimposer 5 if I'm not wrong. Oh. Ah, man, this, this is. Okay, okay. Ah. Yeah, 32%. So that's quite good. So we are gonna move. Ah, man, this is. Okay, uh, so the next uh, light con is gonna be a uh, more uh, like in general ish. So here we go, like a dance, dance, dance. When you said use the ultimate, all ally action are advanced forward by 16%. So it can be uh, uh, quite good for the ally that we uh, pump up, but another ally too have a 16%. So it's kind of more general one. And also that there is a planetary and diffuse. This one is uh, if you are using a quantum, a mono quantum team. So this one is quite good, but this two, uh, this one is uh, more and conditional. So I don't really like this one. And here we go. This is um, okay. Um, the next one is a uh, meditation. This is like the last, last of all of it man if you don't have five star or four star for some reason so meditation is the last one that i recommending it or if you just starting this game so by using meditation you you can have like speed all alike by 12 speed yeah by 12 point for one turn so i don't like it but if you uh, just starting it, maybe this is the last light con that you can. I don't know, man. I don't know because uh, past and future is quite easy, but just in case you have something, something meditation is the last uh, light con that you can use it. So I think uh, that's it. Uh, yeah. And if you like this kind of content, you can go to Panglima Kegelapan Star World page. In there, you can find all of my social media and how to support me. I just say hi when I'm live streaming. So thank you so much, and I see you again.